Over the years, Dr. Phil has offered help and support to dozens of people on his show, but not everyone is ready to accept his help, and some people might not be ready to admit that they have a problem in the first place. You're really going to do this in front of your girls? While the show host always tries to be understanding, there have been a few people who have seriously tested his patience and that of his audience. So stay tuned until the end as we show you a Dr. Phil guest that annoyed the world. A few years ago, spouses Mark and Nikki came to the Dr. Phil show seeking help with their marital issues. While they obviously did a lot of things wrong at home, including fighting and talking about divorce in front of their young daughter, there was one very memorable moment of their appearance. You're breaking my fingers! Get out! No! As per usual, the show host and his guests watched some videos reflecting the situation at the guest's home, and one of those videos had been recorded by Mark using his phone. You're taking a truck that has insurance on it! You said you were gonna leave. You're not, you're here, so get out. It showed him trying to leave and go somewhere while Nikki started raging cause he was apparently taking her truck, which wasn't insured. To prevent him from leaving, she clung to the side of the car with her fingers rolled up in the car window. And even though she screamed at Mark to stop and roll down the window, she didn't seem to be willing to let go. As she screamed that he was breaking her fingers, Mark rolled down the window and tried to remove Nikki's hands, but she kept putting them back. Nikki's behavior in the video annoyed Dr. Phil so much that he didn't even want to hear an explanation, simply pointing out that she has just wasted 30 seconds of his life he can't get back. The show host eventually wondered whether the who had been raised by wolves before he started imitating Nikki and comparing the couple to his three and four and a half year old grandchildren. This weekend, we had our grandchildren over Avery in London. She's four and a half and he's three. She took his truck. Who had fought about a toy truck in pretty much the same way the previous weekend. If you're a fan of reality television, you will most likely know Honey Boo Boo and her family. Back in 2014, their show Here Comes Honey Boo Boo was cancelled after reports surfaced that June Shannon, aka Mama June, was dating a man convicted of child molestation. Her eldest daughter Anna then confirmed that she was the child who had been molested by the man who was an old boyfriend of her mother's 10 years earlier. Mama June and other family members then appeared in the Dr. Phil show to discuss the issue and we learned that Anna had been molested by her mother's boyfriend for around 6 months as an 8 year old. The man then went to prison for several years, but once out of jail, June started dating him again. And not just that, she also let the known child molester sleep in the same bed as her daughter Alana, aka Honey Boo Boo, who was now 8 years old, which makes absolutely no sense to any sane person. You certainly have to be crazy or just really really stupid to risk having another one of your children molested by letting the man who sexually abused your daughter into your life again. Kim Richards is a former child actress, aunt of Paris and Nikki Hilton, former Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, and rather explosive personality who has been arrested and intoxicated a couple of times. In recent years, a lot of people with her kids leading the way have been concerned about Richards due to her continuous downward spiral. In 2015, Richards was invited on the Dr. Phil show, where he offered her a rehab program in order to get her the help she needed. And while the show host stayed pretty calm the entire time, Richards annoyed many viewers when she named her requirements. She wanted only a 30-day program in a rehab center close to him, but Dr. Phil simply asked her to trust his process without her diva demands. It's just right down the road here. It's right on the beach. It's a dual diagnosis treatment program specifically designed I for I have women. a lot of anxiety right now. And although she agreed eventually, she soon left the room, stating that she had a lot of anxiety, despite the show host having just told her that the clinic was local and just down the road, right at the beach. In the early 2000s, a film called Bump Fights, A Cause for Concern gained criticism immediately after being released, as it featured primarily high school fights caught on tape and homeless men in San Diego, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas metropolitan areas attempting amateur stunts in a style inspired by the popular MTV series Jackass. The film was banned in several countries, and when Bump Fights producer Ty Beeson appeared on the Dr. Phil show in December 2006, Phil McGraw actually changed his mind about having him on the show, as he and his guests in the audience were watching some of the Bump Fights videos. The show host told his producers to stop the tape and demanded that Beeson leave the set, stating he refused to publicize the subject because the short video was despicable. Every time you bring a guest on this show, you exploit them and spread whatever problems they have to the whole world. 
You think that's helping them? Yeah, keep telling yourself that. You can go. Romina Garcia was surely one of the most controversial guests Dr. Phil ever had, as she vehemently defended domestic abuse. The then 18-year-old had originally posted a video on social media defending abuse and saying that she believed it was a sign of true love since the abuser was potentially risking to go to jail for their actions. As she explained to Dr. Phil, not everyone will go to jail for you and the fact that someone is willing to potentially put in a lot of time and money meant that they must truly love you. While Garcia said that she felt like she was an inspiration to younger girls, Dr. Phil told her that he normally wouldn't give her a platform for her more than infuriating opinion, but that he was worried that the idiotic message she was putting out there could cause young girls to put themselves in danger simply by following her twisted logic. My boyfriend gave me a black eye. It was my fault. <laughs> In 2007, Dick Masterson appeared on The Dr. Phil Show and immediately annoyed the majority of the show's viewers. It seemed like this guy really lived up to his name while Dr. Phil questioned his opinions, telling him that they are rooted in generalizations and that his prejudices are dangerous. A woman can't do math, they can't be organized, can't lead a company, they can't take risks, they can't drive for crap. However, the show host had apparently already decided that he wouldn't waste his energy on Masterson because he was just not worth it. So instead of lecturing him more about his prejudices, Dr. Phil simply told his guest, By the way, he's not an actor. I know that this is so outrageous that you would think, okay, he's a plant here. In May of last year, Dr. Phil welcomed a guest who made one of the craziest claims ever. Jillian Nepperly had created a cure-all juice that apparently works miracles as it cures basically any imaginable disease and allows you to live up to 400 years. What critics are saying about me is that I am like a cult, that I brainwashed all of my followers into following me. It gives you diarrhea. Her critics accused her of being the leader of a cult and of brainwashing her followers. Dr. Phil already found it rather suspicious that anyone who starts drinking the jelly juice will have violent diarrhea at first or the waterfalls as creator Jillian calls it. She claimed that the body wasn't losing electrolytes during this process as it was just purging out what you don't need while the show host started getting agitated, telling her that she had no scientific proof for any of her claims. Well, Jillian says a group of online trolls who have never tried tried her jelly juice or accusing her of trying to scam people. Self-described debunker of pseudoscience, Jeff Holliday claimed that by drinking jelly juice you actually take in about four times the recommended amount of salt, which meant that the juice not only doesn't do what Jillian says, but it's also harmful because it's convincing people to give themselves sodium poisoning. It's not diarrhea. It's Violent not, not diarrhea. diarrhea. It's called waterfalls because it's different context, different intention, and different outcome. Okay, explosive diarrhea. He was backed up by a medical professional on the show in this claims that the juice could lead to dizziness, confusion, seizures, organ dysfunction, hemorrhages on the brain, coma, stroke, and even death. Dr. Phil found strong words for creator Jillian when he told her that it claims that jelly juice can reverse the aging process, potentially regrow limbs and organs, cure any illness including cancer, AIDS, and even Down syndrome and homosexuality are not only outrageous but also offensive. How exactly is violently peeing out your butt supposed to help your immune system? Because your immune system is working not because like of that. that. Either. A few months later, Jillian received a formal warning from the FTC five months after Ohio authorities demanded that she send them proof of her claims and ended up having to remove some information from her website as well as her Facebook page. A decade ago, Nadia Suleiman, now Natalie Suleiman, gave birth to octuplets, the second living full set of octuplets born in the United States which was in itself pretty controversial, but it gained even more media attention due to the fact that Suleiman already had six other young children and was unemployed and on public assistance programs. Suleiman became a media sensation known as Octomom, but the fact that she decided to have eight children when she already had six at home, all by IVF while on welfare angered people, and Suleiman received a lot of hate, death threats, and even a baby seed thrown through her car window. Octomom was pretty much everywhere, so it was only natural that she would also make an appearance on the Dr. Phil show. There, the famous TV shrink asked her about her choices, wondering whether she decided to have all those children in order to fill a void left inside her from her own unhappy childhood. But Suleiman hedged the question, saying that the other couples also have 12 children and no one judges them, before adding that she doesn't believe that children in big families should be raising their younger siblings. 
She also claimed that she had only wanted to have one more child, which most people found pretty hard to believe, and the fact that she relied on welfare when she made her decision to have more children, even though she could allegedly not even pay for the six children she already had, made people pretty angry.